Sheldon, congratulations. We know what the press release said, but yeah. what do you have to say in person about your teammates, namely the um, Ed Box, Kurt Ward winner? Uh, it's always an honor to be uh, recognized, you know, for anything positive by your teammates. Um, you know, I know they've they literally seen me here every day since, you know, obviously I tore my Achilles and you know, just battling back the way I've, you know, persevered, the way I've, you know, went about my business. Uh, you know, I've always, you know, taken it day by day and you know, there's been some rough ones, uh, been some days where, I, you know, you begin to question, you begin to doubt, but uh, through perseverance, through prayer, uh, through a loving support system, you know, I was able to uh, was able to be back out here with my teammates and uh, making this playoff push the way we want to. So, um, you know, definitely happy that you know not only uh, that they recognize it, um, you know, but they, they they voted me for that. So, um, definitely a blessing. Definitely was it blessing. kind of an emotional thing for you? I mean, you've been through a lot to get back and to get in this position. Oh uh, yeah, I mean, um, you know, at the time when it happened, I just you know. I just kind of take things in stride, y'all. Y'all know me, uh, but you know, as I sit back and reflect, you know, when I get home and different things like that, you know, it has been an emotional year. Uh, it has been a lot of ups and downs and, and roller coasters and different things like that. So, um, you know, to kind of cap it off with, with with that award is is a beautiful thing, and uh, you know, just uh, definitely grateful that that they voted that they voted uh, for me on that. As for this week, Sheldon, do you guys allow yourselves to, to kind of think of it as a playoff game because of everything it could mean for, for seeding and, and now that you can look at that since you've won the division already? Uh, I mean, listen, it's definitely going to be that type of atmosphere. Uh, I don't doubt it. I mean, uh, last year when we played Pittsburgh here, I mean, it was that same type of same type of feel. So um, I expect nothing less. Uh, you know, I think for us um, – you know, it's the biggest game because it's the next one. You know, I think, uh, you know, obviously, um, we won our division. The next, the next goal is to get home field throughout, and uh, and they're standing in the way of that. So um, we're gonna go out there, um, execute our game plan the best we can, and uh, and play our style of football, physical, a lot of effort, and uh, put ourselves in position to to continue to to chase that goal, which is being the number one seed throughout. Sheldon, is it easy to keep that message on point considering you've already won a division now and you know you guys have gone with the whole you know one game at a time, but now you're worrying about seeding and you know looking at standings, I guess, or, or you know you can handle your own business and yeah. take care of it yourself. Yeah, man. Listen, uh, anytime you can win a division, period, uh, and then move on to your next goal, it's always a blessing. You know, but when you can do it essentially on Thanksgiving, uh, you know, a little bit earlier than most other people would. Uh, you know, like I said, you're able to check that box, and then and then you're on to the next goal. Like I said, which for us is to continue to win, to to get home field throughout. So um, that's the goal. Like I said, they're standing in the way. Uh, for us, it's going to be about going in there and, and playing against a really good football team. I mean, when you watch them on tape, uh, they're talented at every level. Um, they got playmakers. They got guys who can really change the game at just about every position. So for us, we're going to have to be on it. Um, we're going to have to be. Um, you know, on our P's and Q's and, and not allow um, dumb things and foolish things and mistakes and errors and penalties and different things like that to, to kind of, um, you know, reel us back. When you have an extra week to – or not an extra week, but extra time and extra couple of days to prepare, does that help you kind of get a deeper look at what's going on with the penalties and how to address some of that stuff? Yeah, I mean, listen, uh, you know, we're not naive to the fact that, you know, over the – last four weeks or whatever it is, we're the essentially the worst penalized team in the league or something like that or close to it. Um, so for us, it's about controlling what we can control, uh, you know, whether it be uh, technique, fundamentals, uh, you know, where we're putting our hands out on people, how we're hitting people, uh, when we're hitting them, um, you know, those things we can control. But, uh, you know, sometimes, you know, there's going to be a there's gonna be a call here that that's just the way the game goes. Sometimes it's the cost of doing business. But we're going to control what we can control, get those penalty numbers down, um, because that can come back to bite us and uh, in crunch time situations in games where there is no tomorrow, you know, where there is no, okay, we'll fix it next week, you know. So um, we got to get that fixed now. Uh,
because you know, essentially for us, you know, with what, with where we're trying to go, we got to think about it like there is no later, there is no, there is no tomorrow to fix it. We got to fix it today and continue to get better from it.